You know, if you're gonna do it uh, with your left leg, you want to start in your right stance, okay, for the torque. What you want to do is have your right foot in front, and what you want to do is, is step off at 45 degrees with your front leg. Spin your body around, look at your target, look over your shoulder, okay? Look over your shoulder, and your kick is gonna arc all the way across, okay? So it'll just be with your foot still planted there, and all the way around, okay? So I'm gonna show you that a couple times fast. Just like that, all right? Now what you wanna do is, is um, make sure you do what's called a retract. Make sure you don't just lob your leg out and drop it. Okay, that looks sloppy and it's just not good technique. This is what it looks like. If you do that, no. What you wanna do is, is come around, snap and retract. Make sure you chamber the leg back. Another thing you wanna keep in mind is your eye placement. Make sure you look at your target. Um, a lot of you are kinda of just looking to do your next technique and you're not looking at your targets. If you look at your target, your technique is going to look a lot more crisp, it's going to be fast, and you're going to know where you are. Everything is going to work a lot better for your combos. Make sure you look at your target. You look at your target. You look at your target. You want to think of hitting something, ripping someone's head off. If you throw the hook kick and you place your front hand, which would be your left hand, if you're kicking with your left leg, if you strike down while you're kicking, the kick tends to shoot upward and you'll have a greater amount of balance while kicking and your body will be a little bit lower and you'll, you'll perform a much stronger spinning hook kick. Small little strike with your left hand straight down in front of your leg. You don't want to do it here because then you're going to kick your leg when it comes around. Don't do that. Something like that. That's like that. If you're going to do your hook into a trick, um, I find that it's most useful if you have your left hand, if you're kicking with your left leg, in, in a high block sort of position. If you come around here, you kick, you have your arm here, you can go into a B twist or aerial or um, if you're going to go into like a 540 type of technique, what will happen is your hand is here so you have plenty of momentum with your arms to swing into the next move, like that, okay? For example, if you come around with hooks here or wherever else, you're gonna have to move your arms a lot in your tricks and you're gonna be working too much. Make sure you concentrate on your hand placement. So here, you don't really need to work too hard to go into the next move. What you wanna think of, and I tell most people this and most beginners is, with a hook kick, you want to think of th that there's a bookshelf or a table. There's a book on that table. What you're going to do is, is just hit the book and kick it off the table, but your foot isn't going to hit the table. Okay, you don't want the foot to start here and cut down. Okay, that's not a hook kick. That certainly wouldn't work because you just kick the table. Don't hit the table. Hit the book off the table. Just soup. Don't hit the table. Don't hit the table. Hit the book off. Soup. Soup. Essentially, what, the way a hook kick was made was that your target area, which is your chest, is away while you're striking your opponent. You want to lean away and just look over your shoulder to be able to um, hit your target. I mean, for tricking, it's not that effective, but it still looks nice. It really makes for a very strong and very unique looking space.